All of the carpet in our house needs to be replaced. It was originally put into the house 10 years ago. We decided to replace the stairs carpet with bamboo. The top and the bottom of the stair rails are maple. The current color is a stain in a honey orange color that we do not like. The bamboo has a wire brush finish and the color is varied. Some darker brown and some lighter brown with some red tones in it. In order for us to stain the maple a similar color, we had to go through the process of trying out all of these different stain samples. This one is the red oak, and this one is the red mahogany. As it's drying, it's changing color. I think that this one is the one that we'll go with, but I'm not sure. Okay, which one do you like the best? I think the red oak and the red mahogany are the two closest, but they're not dark enough. If, if you step away and you look at them, yeah, I think that the the red mahogany is what we're looking for because I think we want to go with the darker than the lighter. Yeah, um, but this one, uh, like this one, has just a little bit more red, matches the red tone a little bit more. Yes. So we might maybe we try another coat of this. Uh, let's see if we can get this one a little darker. Um, the red isn't my favorite in this, so I don't know if I want to pull out too much red. We could try mixing these two colors, maybe do a coat of the... We could just do a mix right here. Yeah, let's do a, let's do a mix, so a 50-50 mix, and uh, see what that looks like there, because that would be pretty easy to It do. might be the, the right color. This is, this is not a pretty color. <laughs> Isn't it awful? It's like you're trying to stain wood black. This one has a lot of red in it. Yeah. I like this one and this one. I still like this. Yeah, I do too. I'd be more than happy to test. just take the red oak, red mahogany, unless you want to Do you have a small recyclable that we can just cut the top off and pour a little bit into each one? Like a milk jug? Oh, like there was a water bottle. Just to mix it? Yeah, just do a little bit and then do a true mix. Red mahogany. This is the red oak. This is a jumbled combination, but this is the actual mix. Yep. Right here. It's not red enough. I agree. The mixes are not red enough in here. Outside, this was a perfect match. Yeah, it could be because it wasn't dry yet too. It does look better. So I think it's the angle of the light. It could be. Because that looks that looks fine. That's too well again depending on the angle. So right. there's two things that that one's missing. It doesn't have a second coat and it doesn't have the polyurethane on it. Yeah, you're right. 
So we're gonna try the mix of the red oak and the red mahogany uh, stain that we made uh, yesterday and try it on the uh, railing that we've stripped already to see how it looks uh, against the sample bamboo wood that we, that we bought. That's pretty good for that one. That a chance to dry. Come back later to check it out once it's dry. All right, so we are happy with the color, so here goes. We didn't need to protect the carpet on the stairs or the upstairs hallway from stain drippage because all of it will be replaced with the new bamboo flooring. I think that's it. Let's uh, wait till it dries and see how it looks. We decided to tape the top and the bottom of the wrought iron balusters, hoping to protect them. Taping, of course, turned into a bit of a competition. In order to stain the wood, we needed to use a stripper to take off the polyurethane first. This process was long, but necessary.
due to the fumes from the polyurethane stripper, we always made sure to wear respirators. The process took more time because of the balusters. After applying the stripper and letting it sit for 15 minutes, we took plastic scrapers and used them to take the polyurethane off the wood. This was the most time consuming part of the process. After all of it had been scraped off, we used mineral spirits to clean the wood. We already pre-mixed the stains. We mixed red oak and red mahogany, so they're already mixed in the small containers. And we're gonna start staining the rails. Today's today, the rails are clean, <laughs> and we are gonna stain some wood. You're ruining my shot. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. After we finished our first round of staining, there were some areas we had to sand and re-stain. After we stained the railing, we discovered that there were a few areas with remaining polyurethane, which caused the wood to not take the stain properly. After sanding and re-staining these areas, they now look great. Although this project is so close to being done, we actually took a break from it in order to start the tile downstairs.